Hi friends, welcome to our first edition YouTube channel. This is part 43 in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about run function which is available inside the notebook utilities module. So, if you have if you haven't watched my previous videos where I have discussed about what is this MS Park utilities package and also I have discussed about this notebook utilities module and also in our past video we discussed about uh, a function inside this module called exit function so if you haven't watched all that videos i will strongly encourage you to watch those videos because you will get a basic idea of what we are discussing because all my videos in my playlist are in a sequence order so i will always recommend you to watch one or two videos previous videos before watching this particular video so let's go ahead with the next slide so as I said, we are going to discuss about this run function in this video. Why and when to use this run function? For example, if you get a need where you have to reference a notebook, in that case, you can go ahead and use this run function. That means uh, if you remember in our past video, we discussed there is something called magic command percentage run. So this uh, run command actually help you to run another notebook from my notebook, right? Similarly this run function also is going to do the same thing you can run another notebook from my notebook and also not only that while you are running if that uh, notebook if that another notebook has any parameters we can supply values to those parameters as well and whatever the values it will exit from that notebook even that values also we can get it back so all this can be happened uh, e easily using this run function let me practically show you that let me go to synapse workspace this is my Synapse workspace. Here, let me go to development tab. Uh, if you have watched my previous videos, you by this time you know using this uh, uh, from notebook utilities uh, utilities uh, uh, package, we can import our MS Spark utils module. So this MS Spark utils library. Uh, so here, let me. There is a small spelling correction. So from notebook utils. We are going to import this MS Spark Utils uh, package or library, you can say. So, this package or library has some modules, like for example, if I want to work with a notebook, it has notebook module. So, let me MS Spark Utilities dot notebook. So, this notebook module will have some functions. So, to know whatever the functions available inside this module, you can use this help function. So, let me run this to see what functions are there. So, inside this notebook module, we have exit and run about exit we have discussed in our previous video so if you see this run function is going to help you to run a notebook and also if that notebook returns any exit value then we can get that exit value as well so to explain you this in detail so let me do one thing here so let me remove this code so let's assume i have two variables like this first name equals to maybe shake okay then last name equals to uh, maybe mahir okay so these are the two variables and now uh, let me clear this uh, output here so two variables in the first cell and then here from notebook utilities i am importing ms park utilities package and here using this uh, ms park utilities package and notebook module i am calling this exit function so in my previous video i said so this exit function will help you to exit any value from the notebook so here i will say like you are uh, your full your full name is then i am going to append this to that first name then space maybe okay to append the strings we should use uh, plus symbol in python then last name so if i use like this if i run this entire cells it is going to print like it is going to exit a value called your full name is shake space mahir so let me run this uh, cells and practically see that result see exit value is your full name is shake mahir so let's assume the same code is available in another notebook maybe called notebook one and i want to run that notebook one from this notebook and whatever the value that notebook one is returning i want to get that back here so how to do that so let me go to this development menu here i have notebook one already in the notebook one i have the similar code first name last name then i am exiting your full name is same code okay so let me delete this code whatever it, i written here so this code is also going to do the same thing as I said just now, right? It is going to uh, exit the full sentence like your full name is. And if you closely observe here, this first cell is parameterized. You can see here there is parameters. 
how i did that by clicking this eclipse button and by selecting this toggle parameter cell if i reselect it see parameters gone that means now these variables are only variables this these variables are not going to act as a parameters for this notebook so if you want to make sure these variables should act as parameters then click here and select this toggle parameter cell so we have discussed about this parameterizing notebooks already in my previous videos so if you haven't watched that watch that video now let me go here so this notebook you got idea so it has two variables which are actually going to act as a parameters and i can supply values to these parameters and according to the values it is going to print this and it is going to exit that entire sentence so let me publish these changes of notebook one here and then let me go to demo notebook uh, let me click publish here so here in the demo notebook so let's try to use the run function to run this notebook one okay to do that uh, so first line will be always importing your uh, library and then ms spark utils dot notebook module dot run function so to the run function let me minimize this to the run function first thing is i should pass the path so my where is my demo notebook one so notebook one is directly under notebooks category so there is no folder and subfolder so i can uh, the path i can give like slash notebook one and then timeout we can mention like if i mention 19 within 90 seconds it has to run or else it will timeout and then third parameter will be like arguments for example this notebook one has any parameters and if you want to supply values to those parameters you can use a dictionary syntax here to pass those arguments dictionary syntax means it will be like this uh, key value pairs using the flower bracket symbols so this notebook one has some parameters right which is first name and last name so i can explicitly supply values for this first name and last name so how to do that here i can use like uh, first name key uh, for this i want to pass maybe uh, shake shake okay or let me pass something else maybe pradeep okay and then comma i have another parameter also right what is my second parameter here my second parameter is last name let me copy this and here so last name is my key and the value for this is maybe chikatla okay so this is what so now if i run this command right if i run this entire code it is going to run my notebook one and first name and last name parameters is going to receive these values and according to that this notebook one is going to exit your full name is pradeep space chikatla so let's try to run this cell and see whether we will get our output or not so i just now clicked the run button here you can see uh, the execution is in progress here great command executed successfully if you see your full name is pradeep chikatla right that means this run command is able to run my notebook one and also able to pass values to my parameters and also able to return the exist value ex exit value whatever we are exiting using this code okay so now let's go uh, let's try to change it once again maybe uh, here i this time i will pass shake wafa so first name is shake last name is wafa let me run and make sure this is working or not it should print your full name is shake space wafa uh, let's wait for the execution to complete here see your full name is shake wafa that means uh, this run function is actually working as we are expecting so let's go to presentation so i hope now you got idea how this run function will actually work the notebook being referred will run on the spark pool of which notebook calls this function so what it means is here notebook one is getting called from demo notebook and demo notebook is running on a spark pool one so that means this notebook one is also going to run on the spark pool spark pool one only so that is what this line meaning is and you know this using the help function on the module you can list down the uh, all the available functions inside that module so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i videos thank you so much